For dynamic and content effects in Cobalt, you can choose a channel source that is your already recorded groups, or there's a different kind of channel source called a channel set. The advantage with groups is that it's just a bucket of channels. You can use the parameters of a content effect, for example, to determine how many parts that bucket should be distributed into and how that distribution is going to happen, similar to in chase effects. The disadvantage of a group is that this math of parts and distribution is always even. There's no way to make this kind of math give you uneven distributions across different numbers of lights, for example, or to repeat channel numbers from one part to the next. Depending on what kind of effect you're trying to build, you might want channels repeating through different parts. Or you might want to have, for example, a chase or a content effect that runs from one truss to the next, regardless of how many channels you actually have on that truss. So a channel set basically is a group that you create with your own subgroupings in it. And you can do this in the effect soft keys on the console. So I'm going to hit the channel set button, and that's going to open an editor. We always have one empty channel set as a safe position for any effect playback. We're going to insert, by hitting the insert key, a new channel set. I'm going to give it a name, highly original name of set one. And then I'm going to use the top half of this tab to create the parts. So you can see at the top now that there's an indicator for empty. That's a placeholder for me so that I can use my next and last keys to choose my insertion point for the channels I'm going to add. So if I want to add channels 1 through 5, 1 channel 5 through, I can do that. That's created my first part. Then I hit next, and now I can enter the channels in my next part. So maybe it's going to be 11 through 20. And so now you can see I'm creating each part manually. I could also do the same thing by using, for example, a group I've already created on a master key. So now you can see those channels get entered when I hit that master key. Or by manually entering again, and this time I'll repeat. So two channel, 11 plus, 27 plus. And you can see I'm repeating channels that I've already inserted. We highlight those repeated channels in all the other parts in which they appear. But what a channel set basically lets me do is create my own group with my own distribution as specifically as I need it to be for this particular effect in this particular show. If I want to come back in here, I can do so and then edit. I can use my last key to move backwards. I can say, I don't want channel 11 in part 2 at all. 11 minus removes that channel from that part. If I type number channel at this point, I'm going to replace that entire selection with an entirely new selection. So it's just like selecting channels in live. And now I can use this set in my content and dynamic effects with this very specific distribution.